Yesterday 6.57 p.m. Updated yesterday 10.32 p.m. Scroll Staff Share Tweet Email Reddit Print Share Tweet Email Reddit Print FIFA World Cup by Scroll Staff Published yesterday 6.57 p.m. Updated yesterday 10.32 p.m. Sony Network Catch the preview of Group A Real So Red, Luis Suarez went missing during Uruguay's win over Egypt preview, Suarez eyes redemption in 100th appearance Uruguay 1-0 Saudi Arabia Luis Suarez Portugal, disappointing performance but got the 3 points. Saudi bow out, Uruguay are through to the last 16. Egypt are also out. This win also confirms Russia's progress to the knockout stages. Tepid game compared to the riveting start we had today. Uruguay need to do a lot better. They were below par today and just about managed to get the three points. 93 feet times ticking. Can the Saudis launch one last attack? 92 feet Uruguay fans are waving their flags. Not sure if they have enjoyed what their team has dished out today. The two-time champions have a corner. 88 feet once again, Saudi impress in possession but can't get the ball past Godin and Co. This has been the pattern unfortunately throughout the game. 85 feet Alloway makes a stunning point-blank save off Cavani, who pounced on a loose ball in the box after the opposition defense had lost it. 83 feet Uruguay showing a little more spark going forward. Caceres gets to the byline but the attack fizzles out, yet again. Renewed vigor from the Uruguayans. They are defending harder and are keeping the Saudis in their half by going at them. Point one zero minutes left. Hassan Nigeria, Adelaide underscore 100, June 20th, 2018 The Saudis have a nice fluid game, good technique, and work very hard. They do lack defensive discipline and overall opportunism, though. I hope they can score a goal and go home with at least one point after this. A long-range shot smashed the PSG striker's head but went slightly wide. The Saudis are superb in attack till they reach the penalty area, then they go all crazy trying to figure out what to do, take a deep breath and put it inside the net boys, at least once folded hands. The ball stays in the middle of the park, 69 feet Saudi continue to show spirit. Can they create something with it? 64 feet Uruguay looking good but can't do much from a free kick. Saudis also make a mess of a free kick. Wait, another free kick for Uruguay. 61 feet, great chance. Cavani from the left gets time and space on the ball and he delivers a peach of a cross to the back post. Sanchez, who made a late run, got a free header but his header was just wide of the post. 59 feet, terrific from Ali at the back. Sanchez delivered a superb cross from the right and Cavani was praying in but a tremendous last-ditch clearance saved the day. Two changes for Uruguay, Vecina and Rodriguez are off and in come Carrera and Laxalt, 56 feet more struggles for Suarez. There was finally some good link-up play but the number 9's touch was poor. The attack fizzles out. 54 feet Uruguay are back to being ragged going forward. The link-up play between midfield and the forwards continues to be poor. Suarez is set to make some changes as we type that out. 50 feet Suarez's free kick is parried away by Alloway, who dives full length to his left. Much better from the young Saudi goalie. 48 feet Pizzi clashes with the touchline officials and gets a telling off. Uruguay start off in much better fashion than the first half. The second half is underway. Half time, it's been poor overall. Saudi couldn't do much despite seeing much of the ball. Suarez has been scrappy at best but got another goal to his tally, from a poor goalkeeping error. Uruguay's young midfield have not been able to hold on to the ball, giving away possession cheaply. They should have been controlling this game. Let's hope the fair dish out in the second period is better. 45-1-foot-0 Godin shows his experience as Vaha tried to reach for the ball. 
That was a masterclass in defending, 44 feet Saudi's worst fears have come true. Taysay comes of and is replaced by Hussein. What a shame if this is how the Playmakers World Cup campaign ends. 43 feet Saudis once again lose the ball in a dangerous area and the move comprising of Suarez and Cavani comes to nothing with the latter trying to free Sanchez. 39 feet Taysay has stretched his hamstring while trying to reach for the ball at the edge of the area. It was horrific to watch. He is slowly limping back to the touchline. 37 feet Saudis have 57% possession but the ball is swept aside from one side to the other. 35 feet Suarez is still struggling to find a foothold in the game. Apart from the goal, he has failed to impress once again. Uruguay is losing the midfield battle so far. 31 feet sterile possession for some time and it is, dot the Saudis who have the ball. This is a bit of a surprise. They simply aren't able to breach Godin and co. 28 feet what a chance, Haddon made a surging run and volleyed one just over the bar. Uruguay were in trouble had the Saudi number 9 controlled it better. 25 feet there is no short of ambition from the Saudis. Haddon cut in and shot one from 30 yards out. It went narrowly over the bar. Not a bad effort. 23 feet oh, they are now attacking in droves and Cavani this time, had a shot on goal, but his shot went well wide of the post. That was poor from goalkeeper Alloway. Attempting to punch the ball clear, he misses it completely and falls kindly to Suarez at the back post. Uruguay's all-time top scorer made no mistake. 20 feet goal, Luis Suarez celebrates his 100th cap with a goal 19 feet Uruguay orchestrate a stylish move but they broke their own momentum by taking a touch too many. Suarez and Sanchez orchestrate the move but Cavani's final ball was poor and was cleared out for a corner. 17 feet Uruguay have a good spell on the ball but the attack fizzles out with Christian Rodriguez failing to control a long ball. There is still no rhythm to the play of the two-time champions. 14 feet Suarez has his first attempt, a shot from close range which took a deflection off a Saudi defender and went out for a corner. 12 feet a attempt on goal from Cavani but the shot went well over the bar. Caceres had made a powerful run on the left to find the PSG striker with a cutback. Cavani just couldn't control the volley, 11 feet well, well, this is surprising. Uruguay just can't get the ball. Hang on, they finally win it back as Salem clatters into Suarez while making a sliding challenge. Suarez, in all honesty, made a meal of it. 8 feet Saudis continue to have the ball. Suarez and Cavani haven't got a touch on the ball yet. There are men running on the flanks and waiting for space in the middle but there aren't any shots yet. 5 feet Saudis get a free kick from 25 yards out. Vecino makes a clumsy challenge on Salman, who is making a surging run after finding space in midfield. 3 feet as expected, Uruguay have taken little time to get off the blocks and Saudis are also having a good spell on the ball. Godin had to see out an attack with a last-ditch block and Mislera was watchful to snuff out a shot. The countdown has begun. Expect a fired up Uruguay side. The teams are ready. National anthems are underway. If you didn't watch this, well, you simply have to. This is how a bunch of kids celebrated after Uruguay's stunning smash and grab win against Egypt. Fun fact, Uruguay are looking to win the first two matches of the World Cup for the first time since 1954. Saudi Arabia are winless in the last 11 games. Uruguay have only played Asian opposition twice, which were against South Korea. They beat the 2002 semi-finalists 1-0 in 1990 before beating them 2-1 in 2010. Fun fact time, Saudi Arabia have not lost lost against Uruguay in the last two meetings. Hello, here's what happened in the previous game. Hello and welcome to the live updates of the Group A clash between Uruguay and Saudi Arabia at Rostov. 
Luis Suarez will make his 100th appearance for Uruguay during this match which he should be playing in. The match should be routine and could secure Uruguay's passage to the knockout stage, but with Suarez, football fans know that very few things are mundane. The last two World Cups have seen Suarez exit in ignominy. The Asians were taken to the cleaners in the tournament opener, crashing to a 0-5 defeat by the rampant hosts. The barrage of criticism back home should prompt a much-improved display from the Saudis. However, there are little hopes of them coming out of this fixture with even a point. In 2010, the forward was sent off after making a last-minute save against Ghana, which helped avoid defeat and saw the South Americans' progress to the last four. The Saudis' preparations were jolted by a mid-air mishap on Monday when the plane carrying them to Rostov suffered a fire in one of its engines. The aircraft landed safely after what one of the Saudi players called a simple malfunction. It was a small fire in one of the engines, the right engine, but the plane landed safely, Association President Ahmad Al Harbi told Saudi Sports TV channel KSA, with inputs from AFP, support our journalism by subscribing to Scroll here. We welcome your comments at letters at scroll.in. Sponsored content by Publish June 11, 2018 11.26 a.m. Getty Images Share Tweet Email Reddit Print Share Tweet Email Reddit Print In June 2018, a distressed whale in Thailand made headlines around the world. After an autopsy its cause of death was determined to be more than 80 plastic bags it had ingested. The pictures caused great concern and brought into focus the urgency of the fight against single-use plastic. This term refers to use and throw plastic products that are designed for one-time use, such as takeaway spoons and forks, polythene bags, styrofoam cups, etc. In its report on single-use plastics, the United Nations Environment Program, UNEP, has described how single-use plastics have a far-reaching impact in the environment. Dense quantity of plastic litter means sites such as the distressed whale in Thailand aren't uncommon. Plastic products have been found in the airways and stomachs of hundreds of marine and land species. Plastic bags, especially, confuse turtles who mistake them for jellyfish, their food. They can even exacerbate health crises, such as a malarial outbreak, by clogging sewers and creating ideal conditions for vector-borne diseases to thrive. In 1988, poor drainage made worse by plastic clogging contributed to the devastating Bangladesh floods in which two-thirds of the country was submerged. Plastic litter can, moreover, cause physiological harm. Burning plastic waste for cooking fuel and in open air pits releases harmful gases in the air, contributing to poor air quality especially in poorer countries where these practices are common. But plastic needn't even be burned to cause physiological harm. The toxic chemical additives in the manufacturing process of plastics remain in animal tissue, which is then consumed by humans. These highly toxic and carcinogenic substances benzene, styrene etc. can cause damage to nervous systems, lungs and reproductive organs. The European Commission recently released a list of top 10 single-use plastic items that it plans to ban in the near future. These items are ubiquitous as trash across the world speeches, even the pristine, seemingly untouched ones. Some of them, such as styrofoam cups, take up to a 1,000 years to photodegrade the breakdown of substances by exposure to UV and infrared rays from sunlight disintegrating into microplastics, another health hazard. More than 60 countries have introduced levies and bans to discourage the use of single-use plastics. Morocco and Rwanda have emerged as inspiring success stories of such policies. Rwanda, in fact, is now among the cleanest countries on Earth. In India, Maharashtra became the 18th state to effect a ban on disposable plastic items in March 2018. Now India plans to replicate the decision on a national level, aiming to eliminate single-use plastics entirely by 2022. While government efforts are important to encourage industries to redesign their production methods, individuals too can take steps to minimize their consumption and littering of single-use plastics.
Most of these actions are low on effort, but can cause a significant reduction in plastic waste in the environment, if the return of olive ridley turtles to a Mumbai beach are anything to go by. To know more about the single-use plastics problem, visit Planet or Plastic Portal, National Geographic's multi-year effort to raise awareness about the global plastic trash crisis. From microplastics, in cosmetics to haunting art on plastic pollution, Planet or Plastic is a comprehensive resource on the problem. You can take the pledge to reduce your use of single-use plastics, here. This article was produced by the Scroll Marketing Team on behalf of National Geographic, and not by the Scroll Editorial Team.